Hi guys, the next outpatient um, experience that I had was in gastrology. Um, the gastric clinic was quite a shock to the system because it was seeing a lot of things that I hadn't seen before, but I also learnt a lot. Um, so the first day I was in gastro, I worked um, with, I think he was a consultant, he might have been, I don't really know what he was, um, but gastro specialist anyway. And um, he was really good and it really taught me um, patient interaction because he was so good with the patients. Um, often the patients come in, coming in for those kind of consultations were often um, IBS, irritable, irritable bowel syndrome. Um, a lot of the young people that came in kind of when they were like under 50 pretty much had IBS. Um, so I saw a lot of that. I saw um, I didn't realise that IBS was um, triggered by lots of stress factors, so there was a lot of kind of looking into people's lives and patients' lives and kind of questioning them about their family situation, their work situation, and it was it got really personal sometimes and it was quite upsetting for the patients, quite distressing, um, but this, this guy I was working with had great communication with them and it really taught me, um, when you see good communication, copy it, because it's Honestly, I really, really learned from that. It was really great. Um, we also had patients that were tested um, for things like celiac disease, where they're allergic to gluten, um, and lots of other things as well. We had one lady come in that had um, stomach cancer, and she didn't speak much English, so there was a, a massive language barrier there. And treating her was really... Well, we didn't treat her, We just it was consultation, so we were just telling her exactly what had happened. Her son was with her and he could speak English but was really reluctant to say and it's, it's really sad because there should have been a translator there but it's all about money in the NHS these days and unfortunately we couldn't get a translator or we could get a translator over the phone um, and her son didn't want that for her and it was a lot of distress to the family. Um, her cancer was terminal and we were trying to explain this to her. We had um, I was there, um, there was a specialist palliative cancer nurse, Macmillan nurse there, um, this doctor was there and um, we just sat down and really discussed it and really spent time with this patient and again great communication skills and I'm, I'm, it was a sad and difficult experience but I'm so glad that I had it because it really taught me how to communicate and how to break bad news um, and that, it was an opportunity where I could sit back and I didn't have to say anything or do anything um, but I could just observe what other people were doing and that was really helpful um, and I think really developed me as a professional. Um, one of the other things, a few other things we did was like hematolo um, hematology, sorry, hemorrhoids. Um, that was an interesting experience because um, they did these hemorrhoid injections where um, they go with a kind of tube um, that has a light on it and they kind of stick it up the rectum and then pull this tube out and it, it just it lines the rectum so that you can just see straight into it. Then they put the needle in. That that bit doesn't hurt the patient at all because it's all um, kind of numb in there. It just they just don't feel it. So they kind of I was quite surprised in how comfortable the patients were. Um, but that was an interesting experience because I hadn't really seen that before. Um, but again, I learned a lot about that and a lot about what they did um, in those and those hemorrhoid injections as well. Um, that's pretty much all I saw in this clinic. It was a really good clinic for just learning about um, really basic conditions and really simple conditions most of the time. Um, so yeah, it's not. That's pretty much it on the gastro clinic. See you in my next video.